Hi, now you will see the results of comparing the performance of two newest versions of Windows 10 and Windows 11. The 22H2 update has made changes to both, and it's important for us to find out if there is a difference between them now, and if so, which one is still faster. In addition, at the request of subscribers, there will be a comparison in games. Thus, we will try to put an end to the question, which Windows is better in games and for work 2022 and 23, Windows 10 or Windows 11. Subscribe to the PCNP channel and after watching the video, be sure to leave your comment. Let's go! First, I'll tell you a little about the conditions of the experiment and the prehistory if suddenly someone is the first time. If you follow all our videos, you can scroll to the next section. So just recently we did test of the new Windows 11 22H2 and it showed a very good increase in speed compared to Windows 11 21H2. Many people have a question, well, is Windows 10 still faster? It seems to have always been like this, new versions worked more slowly, can it be different here? But everything pointed to the fact that Windows 11 was still faster than Windows 10. At the same time, Windows 10 also received updates 22H2, so we did some experiments to compare these two systems. Both windows are fresh, they were installed from scratch and received all the latest updates, which took quite a long time. By the way, both Windows editions are home. It's important to add that none of them was specifically optimized before the test in order to compare them in the form that Microsoft supplies them to ordinary users. What about optimization? We'll soon have a separate video in which we will make Windows 11 speed up as possible for games and compare with the help of tests how much it can be optimized and accelerated. Stay tuned for the new videos on the channel. And one more detail of the experiments, they were carried out on a laptop with these characteristics. So we will apply the results to modern PCs with the processors that are officially supported by the 11th version. And we will not apply them to older and weak computers. For them it is better to use systems that we tested in these videos. Well, let's start testing. And the first test is Task Manager. For accuracy of comparison, after restarting the computer, we wait for a calm state of the system, when the processor is not loaded and no processes are actively running, and unnecessary ones are closed by the system itself. And we look at how many resources it consumes. Windows 10 takes 2.9 GB of memory out of 16, and Windows 11 3.1 GB. I will clarify that there are so many because the computer has 16 GB of memory. If there were, for example, 4, then the system would save more. For running processors, the situation is the same. Windows 10 has 160 processes and Windows 11 has 162 processes. Almost the same resource consumption. A small gap in Windows 10 and this is logical, 11 has a couple of new features such as widgets. Let's move on to test number 2, Benchmark. And so far I'm most comfortable with the same Bench R23. If you know any other good adequate benchmark, write in the comments. We do the test again after the reboot and when the system comes to calm state. The benchmark has a large error, so we measure several times on each Windows and take the highest readings. Here are the results. Windows 10 was able to score 57 10 points and Windows 11 only 56 33. Although just recently in the last test it showed 58 20. But now a cumulative update has come and the situation has changed. So in the test Windows 10 won with a margin of only 77 points or 1%. But do not rush to draw your own conclusions, in the following tests the result will be completely different. The third test – file conversion. I like it because unlike the benchmark, here is the real task that the PC user faces and it displays performance in programs. On both systems we run the conversion of the same file several times in the same program and know the time. And now Windows 11 is broken out again. 
it is able to solve the problem 2 seconds faster than Windows 10. This is not much, again 1%, but in the other direction. And this is not a benchmark where there is a large error, but a real working situation. The first test of FPS in the game. Many viewers were very interested in how performance tests would show themselves in games, and so I've found a suitable game that you can not install on each system on a new one and which has its own benchmark, Forza Horizon 4. When recording I had to run an FPS monitor and a program for screen recording. So the FPS is not the same, but given that both systems are in the same position, the results should be objective. And here is a comparison, I'll give you small pauses, so that you can observe what readings are at different points. And as you can see, Windows 11 at every moment gives 2-3 FPS more than Windows 10. This is the same thing that the conversion test showed. On this computer, Windows 11 is a little more productive than Windows 10. So what conclusions can be drawn from this experiment? First, he once again confirmed that if your PC is supported by the 11 system, there is no need to be afraid to upgrade. If earlier it was a bit damp, now you definitely don't need to be afraid. You will get a modern design, interface, various new functions, and at the same time performance is not less than in the tens. Someone will say, I have a super lightweight assembly of Windows 10 or even an LTC version with the 11th version, you can also do operations as a result of which it will become easy and fast. More about that in one of the next videos. If you're interested in how the FPS will increase in games, like it and subscribe. The second conclusion is that the difference between the performance of these two systems is very small. So if you really like Windows 10, you won't lose much by staying in it. Still, the software component doesn't affect performance as much as hardware. And let me remind you, if you have an older PC, for example an Intel processor older than the 8th generation, it's better to stay on Windows 10 or even Windows 8 for more productive work. Thank you for watching, I'm waiting for your comments under the video and you expect new tests and subscribe to the channel so as not to miss them.